joined by returning guests, Mr. NECA. No. <laughs> Mrs. Don't. NECA? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Blaine of Blaine Er Things. So, Blaine. Hello. Hi, how are you? Enjoying Comic Con? So far, it's so good. We're how back. You? We are back. You sound great. I'm talking a little bit. <laughs> I love it. So, why don't you give us a tour? What do you guys have on display that's new that maybe people don't know a whole lot about? All right, so new, well, we've got some returning favorites. Of course, the Gargoyles line, personal favorite of mine. Uh, we have the whole clan displayed up top. Uh, obviously, Goliath, Bronx, Demona, Thalog, they're already out. We showed these at uh, San Diego, but we want to display them again. Hudson is up next. He should be shipping very soon. Uh, then Brooklyn, then Broadway. We've got Lexington showed off, I think, just for the second time. Uh, Steel Clan, which I'm super excited about. These things are massive. Uh, they come with alternate uh, hands. They come with blast effects that, in a gauntlet. They have blast effects on their feet, so you can pose them in flight motion. The wings are articulated. Everybody's been asking for articulated wings. So we've got articulated wings. So this wingspan, buy your detolfs. <laughs> buy them. These wingspans are, are massive, but they do fold in, so you can pose them with other figures. I, I can't wait to see people army build with that steel clan. Uh, Xanatos is going to come with an alternate expression, uh, so you can have a masked or unmasked. Uh, Angela, she was a, a later addition to to the clan. Spoiler alert: If you haven't seen Gargoyles, it's on Disney Plus. Um, but she's the the daughter of uh, Goliath and Demona, so we're bringing her in both in baby and adult form. Awesome. Uh, and Can then, you make the gargoyles any larger? We could try. <laughs> well, wonderful thing about that is, as you see, Goliath is posed with his folded wings, and Demona's also posed with her folded wings, just out of shot. Uh, we put the folded wings with Goliath in with Bronx, and that kind of is our plan. Uh, smaller figures or characters that don't have wings, we want to try to include folded wings for as many characters as possible so that people with smaller displays or people who want to kind of pile them up together can display them side by side. So you see Demona with her folded wings. They're going to come with Xanatos. Uh, I believe we may or may not have revealed that at San Diego if we didn't. <laughs> First reveal here. You heard uh, it here. You heard it here. Coming with Xanatos. Uh, so he'll uh, be in two forms. You've got him with his suit and then him uh, armored as well. Uh, and then your first look at Coldstone, who we don't physically have here, but Toy Collector for their debut issue hit us up and asked if we had anything fun. And we figured that was the great, great time to world premiere him. Just a little fun. Just a little fun. I mean, you know, we grew up in the time of Toy Fair and Wizard Magazine and uh, just as soon as we got the email that there was going to be a physical toy magazine, we were like, let's get in it. So yes. uh, it was very, very nice that we were put on the cover and we were super stoked. And uh, Mike Puzo, one of our painters, hand painted that thing top to bottom. So to have it on the cover, he was stoked, we were stoked, and we're happy. We're happy campers, as you can tell. Very so obviously we've got our Toon Turtles. Huge, right? I think if we did not release our 100th figure, we hit our 100th figure making. No plans of stopping. As you can tell, we're doing deep cuts. Uh, this weekend, we've revealed uh, Colossi Colossal Punk Frog, Space Usagi. I'm so happy we're doing more Usagi. If you haven't had a chance to get that figure, he's stunning. Uh, we revealed more of the, the Punk Crew. Uh, gosh, what else? Trevor, our brand manager, just slips in these reveals. If you look in the, in the windows, you might see something. Who knows? Uh, so our tune line, which is Target exclusive in the U.S., no signs of stopping. Uh, we'll have much, much, much more. These are planned through 2023, and then we'll have more for 24. Uh, last March, for the anniversary of Secret of the Ooze, which happens to be my favorite Ninja Turtle movie, we uh, revealed that we would be expanding Secret of the Ooze. We had done uh, Super Shredder before, and we had done an online exclusive Toka Razor 2-pack, and uh, we brought those two back for the anniversary sale and also revealed a four pack of the brothers. So they are new turtles. Uh, the only reuse in tooling that we, that we did were ones that made sense to the suit, you know, arms, thighs, but the shells are new, the weapons are new, the padding, the expressions, all new tooling. Uh, if you ordered that deluxe four pack for the anniversary sale, you got the card back on matte finish of the Dock Shore Club, 
So you can have that for your shelfies or for toy photography. Uh, we also did an anniversary set for an accessory set which you can see the characters wearing there. So you can recreate your, the, you know, the funnest scenes of the movie. Uh, two packs of the brothers will also be in Walmart. So our movie turtles are exclusive to Walmart in the US. Uh, so two packs of those are in Walmart now, along with the Secret of the Ooze Shredder, which also has some uh, new tooling to it to make it obviously screen accurate. My, my favorite accessory is the mutated dandelion. Can't help that. Uh, and uh, I don't know if we've teased this or not, but that dandelion might show up in another figure. We're not done with Secret of the Ooze. So keep, right. keep an eye out. Uh, again, they're Walmart exclusive in the US. And then our turtles have been doing so well that we wanted to take it back to the OG and return to Mirage. So we've returned to Mirage this year. Uh, you see the four brothers, you see some mutated shredders. Uh, you've got Splinter down here. You've got Utram, Rennet, Casey. Uh, Fugitoid was part of the Holothon where you could get a, a signature edition. He's now available everywhere. We then went into IDW with the last Ronin. Uh, revealed this weekend, you see Leonardo up on top. Uh, you've got the armored and unarmored. Uh, so that collection is coming along nicely. Uh, it's just great and expansive. We've also dipped into Archie. We are going as far into the TMNT multiverse, and I'm using that word until it's trademarked, as we possibly can. Uh, so we've gone into Archie, which is super fun. We don't have the packaging here. Uh, I think you can see them online. I think the Foosh has uh, an article about that as well. Packaging is super fun. We wanted it to be different. The Toon Turtles have that 80s VHS uh, style for their, for their ultimates. Uh, and being comics, we wanted to go with that comic feel. So we really, it looks like you have, you know, a, a Kevin Eastman comic kind of folded up in packaging. Uh, and then of course, if you're a child of the 80s and you collected TMNT, you love the mashups and they did monster mashups. We now have the license for Universal Monsters and we figured it was the perfect opportunity to pull a NECA, go super hyper detailed, go super specific and do Universal Monster Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle mashups. Um, Franken Raff, as we've dubbed him, has been out for quite some time. I believe uh, Hunchback Leo and Mummy Mikey are now currently out along with Bride of Frankenstein April. We just revealed, just last night actually, we put up a full reveal and an offer, so he is now up for pre-order, Invisible Man Donny, which is phenomenal. He comes with a few different expressions. He also comes with uh, translucent uh, hands and arms, so you can really kind of get that invisible feel to him. Uh, Splinter, he's also up for pre-order. He's Van Helsing Splinter. Just teased earlier this week for our 31 Nights of Fright was the Phantom Casey, and you see him here for the first time, head to toe. He's a phenomenal figure. Again, with the detail and the hyper-realism, we went with, like, super old-school 1800s hockey gear uh, to, you know, mix in Phantom of the Opera and Casey Jones. Uh, so we're really, really happy with this line. We're not done with that. Uh, you know, Van Helsing uh, is a vampire hunter. He's got to hunt something, so stay tuned for that. Uh, really, really excited. And then our Q scale, a lot of people loved our, our movie Q scale, so we took a step back from movie this year and focused on the tune. Uh, Raf and Leo are already out. Donnie is up for pre-order, if not already out. And we're revealing Mikey for the first time here at New York Comic Con. So I tried to do it all in one breath, but as you can see, we're, we're not stopping with turtles. No signs of stopping. We're going. We're going until they tell us we can't. So I just want to point out that when we had when we had our little tour of, of the NECA HQ, yes, I got a first look, an early, a very early look, you did. and I could see there's been some changes even from the one that I saw. So, yes. so it's it's what really you saw cool. Was uh, was our paint master? So that was a 3D print uh, paint for the factory for for reference, uh, and this is our first sample. So that's our first fully articulated uh, sample. I think I want to say he's final but we we tweak and improve up until the last minute uh, and as you can see which I don't think you saw before he's got a soft good uh, cloak and that is wired as well for you to put him in those dynamic poses wired for your pleasure yeah there you go so along the lines of Ninja Turtles uh, Walmart just announced their auto T powered by NECA as part of the vault collection which if you're here at New York Comic Con we're having a vault sale so the whole booth is designed to be a vault We've taken some uh, some of our older exclusives, having a blowout sale. Uh, the Volt continues online or in-store with Walmart. 
where you can uh, order one of these three. So we've got the Shredder, we've got the Foot Ninja in that classic uh, comic black and white. You've also got a blue variant of Rennet. And how this works is you can either go in store or online, you can purchase the figure virtually, and then you get the choice. We know NFT is popular with some people and unpopular with others, so we wanna give you the choice. If you want the physical figure, we have it shipped to you or you hold it in our vault. If you choose to have an NFT, you can also choose to have a virtual uh, as well. So we, it's like you do it your way, it's Burger King, right? <laughs> Choose your own toy adventure. There you go, there you go. For for those that don't have the space, you have the option. Uh, up here we've got, this is exciting. We had E.T. years ago with Toys R Us. Uh, went away and for E.T.'s 40th anniversary, went back to it. Uh, these figures may look familiar. They are the classic figures. We've updated them. We've made them ultimates chocked full of accessories, we've updated articulation. Now that uh, direct inkjet technology is there, we're up, able to update deco as well to really get that hyper-realistic uh, look. And then for the first time, you're getting the 40th anniversary Elliot set. This is something we worked on years ago and never saw the light of day, so we're super excited to bring it back for the 40th anniversary. Uh, it is Elliot on his bike with a scaled ET in, the, in his little basket. He actually will prop up on this card back so you can have him displayed in that iconic scene of them, uh, quote, flying over the moon. Or you can put the bike on a base that has a pullback feature. So you can pull it back and uh, have, the, have the bike spring forward, which again, any kid of the 80s, you love a gimmick. Uh, and it's been tested on every GD surface we have in the studio. So that thing will, will ride on uh, any flat surface. Um, Another favorite is ALF. Uh, one of the things I love most about NECA is we're all fans, and we're all fans of what we work on, and when we get a new brand, Randy will look around for who on staff is the biggest fan, and one of our sculptors, Tom, huge ALF fan, so this was a labor of love, and as with most of our NECA items, you can tell in the accessories and in the detail, um, you know, anybody who's a fan of the show is gonna notice those little, those little details in the accessories. Uh, and he's super fun, and we're very, very happy with the pre-orders. He should be shipping soon this season, and uh, he's doing well, so we're not gonna stop with Elf. More Elf will, will be happening. Yeah, I think the cat sandwich is in the running for like best I mean, accessory of the year. Right? <laughs> you, I feel like if they didn't let us do a cat sandwich accessory, we'd have to skip on Elf. <laughs> I mean, you can't have Elf without a, some sort of cat meal, right? <laughs> I can't, I can't, I love it. Uh, another line is our Toonie Tears. These are doing phenomenal, uh, and we love it. It's a smaller price point. It's for people who like that more stylized action figure, and it's a way to get horror out in a fun way. We kind of imagined it as if, uh, you know, our favorite horror characters were uh, in a cartoon, uh, you know, maybe being foiled by some mangy teenagers. Uh, <laughs> so we've got Series 7 coming. Uh, Series 7 includes Teen Wolf, They Live Alien, uh, Guliana, one of our killer clowns from outer space, and then we've got a deluxe two-pack uh, killer clowns uh, that comes with uh, Slim and Chubbs, our deluxe three-pack uh, Halloween trick-or-treaters, Season of the Witch. I love Halloween 3. I, I stand for it. Talk about the multiverse of madness. Nothing yeah. says multiverse of madness like Michael Myers, right? Uh, so we've got the Toonies. We also have those in the retro, so you can get them two different ways now. And then the American Werewolf in London, another cult classic. We have the ultimate Kessler Wolf and Nightmare Demons, and now you can get uh, the Wolf and Jack in, in a two-pack uh, in Toonie form. Uh, series 8 will also be teased on our social for 31 Nights of Fright. All October long, we're going to have reveals, and uh, we have a little sneak peek into Series 8 as well, so stay tuned. Uh, then of course you've got our retro eight-inch line. Uh, these were designed kind of be kind of to be those uh, those soft good cloth figures of yesteryear, except looking a little truer to the characters, right? Uh, and we love we love rock and roll. We love music uh, at NECA. So we've got uh, ACDC, we've got Angus Young, we've got Bond, uh, we have Elton John. This deluxe pack is is phenomenal. Uh, hopefully, as you can see, to like scale. 
you could not tell in pictures. Seeing this piano in real life, it's a to scale piano. He's got his set list on there. Uh, he comes with an articulated microphone, his bat, alternate expressions. Uh, so you really can kind of recreate Elton John live in 75. And the top of the piano looks like it's like velvet. Oh, it's velvet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, stand him on top, have him pointing with the, with the bat. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. Uh, and then going with the retro 8-inch cloth, we've got our, our Elvira, which being able to work on that was an absolute dream come true. She loved it. She has multiple times said it's like her favorite action figure she's ever seen. Uh, so we were able to continue to work with her. Uh, we had a toonie of her uh, single carded and we did this stern pinball house of horrors game she had uh, we did this crate with a beanie a pin a t-shirt a patch that uh, all designed by our package designer chris ramo he actually was able to draw a vhs packaging for the exclusive toonie in her red dress when they came to us and said we want to do an exclusive toonie i was like oh Red sequin address. Yeah. Uh, she also loved that, and we got to meet with her just a few days ago, and uh, we will be working with Elvira some more in the future. So I'm going to go faint now, and we'll finish this interview later, but we were very, very excited uh, to continue to work with her and to hear her ideas and for her to hear ours and to be able to collaborate with her. So more Elvira on the way. You got to hang out with Elvira. No big deal. I, I'm done. That's, I don't need anything else in life. Uh, so, you know, she's the queen of Halloween, and I feel like that only makes sense to dive in to horror now, yes. right? Yeah, let's do some horror. This is like the, the birth of NECA, right? We were kind of based in horror. Our heart is in horror, like I mentioned earlier. We're doing 31 Nights of Fright on our social media. So we're going to try to have a, a Halloween-themed reveal every single day this month. Uh, and we've got top shelf are Universal Monsters. I don't know if you just recently saw, we don't have the physical one here, but for 31 Nights of Fright, we gave an updated look uh, to our Creature from the Black Lagoon, as well as a digital render of that, that hand and the harpoon. It's my favorite Universal Monsters movie, so I'm very stoked to have him. Again, he's gonna be an ultimate, alternate expressions. Those gills are super detailed. Um, it's very well articulated as well. A lot of people are like, oh, how's that gonna move? Just you wait got geniuses in our in our studio you also showed off the phantom we did show off the phantom that just to been teased i don't even think we don't even have a, a production sample of that yet so that's a very early reveal uh no release date for that just yet but that one people were trying to guess like is that an eight inch is it, no that is an ultimate that will be seven inch scale that detail is on a seven inch scale one tenth figure it's phenomenal i i cannot stop giving credit to our sculptors and painters absolutely stunning um, and as you can see, not only do we have the Universal Monsters action figures, and I'm sure if you've ever looked at our social, we are nerds. We love nerds. We love fans. We love people with the, the big shelfies. We love toy photographers. We're obsessed. We, we promote fan photos on our Instagram, and we wanted to help. Uh, we've done accessory sets in the past, and uh, all of our action figures, I don't know if you've ever noticed, all of our action figures uh, actually have inserts and they're like little backdrops, they're little dio pieces, but they're on a thinner cardboard and they've got a gloss finish. And uh, we, heard, we heard from toy photographers and they would try to use it as the backdrop, but would always get this glare. And we figured, well, shoot, we're coming out with accessory packs. Why not go all in? And we've got these matte finish, uh, thick card back, um, basically dio background pieces to go with the accessory sets. So you can have your Universal Monsters with their accessories displayed on a backdrop for your shelfie, or you can use them for toy photography, no glare. Uh, so we've got uh, Dracula's accessory set. He comes with his critters, his coffin, uh, uh, candelabra, chalices uh, with his, is it wine, is it blood, who knows? Uh, his backdrop of his castle, and all figures are sold separately with the accessory sets. If you've already bought the figure, we don't want you to have to waste your money and buy it again. Uh, we've got our mummy accessory set with the sarcophagus. We have an opening uh, chest. His uh, ultimate figure actually came with a smaller chest and the scroll that fits inside that chest. And then you've got the, uh, the hieroglyphs on the back. You have the Frankenstein accessory set with the two scale full chair. He does fit in that. He's got the alternate head that is included in the accessory set that's wrapped in bandages along with a soft goods uh, sheet. His backdrop is uh, Dr. Frankenstein's lab. 
And if, uh, if you look back there, you might see a chair that is recognizable to the Bride of Frankenstein. So maybe we've got that coming. <laughs> Continuing with horror, we, this year celebrates the 40th anniversary of Creepshow. And uh, for the first time, you're getting the Creepshow movie ultimate figure. We've done him in uh, retro cloth. And the technology is there, and our, our tailors are extremely, extremely talented. And we were able to get this soft good in seven inch scale. So he's an ultimate, he's seven inch scale, but he is, uh, his cloak is fully soft good. His shawl has uh, wire in it. So again, wired for your pleasure. You can kind of get that wind blown look. Uh, we've got uh, Rob Zombie's Monsters that just hit on Netflix and uh, digital and Blu-ray. Uh, so we've got ultimates and retros. We did show Ultimate Herman at SDCC. For the first time, you are seeing the count. Uh, he also has a wire cape. They, of course, as with all Ultimates, multiple accessories, multiple hands, multiple exp expressions. And uh, it's going to be a Monsters weekend, so keep an eye out on our social media this evening and tomorrow for a little more, uh, little more views on the Monsters. Those colors really pop on them. They, they are. The, uh, the, the colors in the movie are phenomenal. Right, uh, they pop, they, they draw attention. We've been hearing that people actually love watching it with their kids and the kids are getting super into it, which is amazing because as a kid, I was super into the Munster show uh, and you know, it was black and white and trying to go back and, and find what colors they were as an artist trying to draw them. I was like, oh, well, what color were they? So this was great to get a movie in such rich, vibrant colors. And that was a lot of fun, um, you know, going in with the with the deco and the paint, and really bringing them to life. And a lot of the movie, it's dark. There's like purple and green lighting. We wanted to go true to uh, set costumes, set makeup. So you're really getting those colors that pop. Now, Blaine, every good castle has monsters, but in the basement of a castle, what might you find? That might be next to you in the case. I don't know. What would you find in a, in a basement? Maybe a, a dungeon? dungeon. A dungeon? Maybe, maybe? a dragon? How, do you, how are you going to keep them contained? I mean... Well, we can't. We're not going to contain them. No. We're going to release them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we got... This is terrible. We, we got there. We got there um, together. <laughs> uh, so our Dungeons & Dragons Ultimate uh, line, we were very stoked about this. A lot of D&D &D fans uh, on the team... We actually didn't even know the movie was coming when we when we pitched this and started this. So cool coincidence. Uh, but we're not doing movie figures. We're sticking with the classics and doing what NECA does best, taking old school and making them hyper real, making them hyper articulated. Uh, War Duke and Grimsword we actually revealed earlier this year. Um, we put them up for pre-order a couple months ago. They should be shipping very soon. You should be getting them before the holiday. Uh, first look this weekend at the packaging for Grimsword, so we are going old school with that classic D&D artwork, uh, you know, from the books. And then uh, Series 2 is going to be Zarek and Strongheart, who we don't have revealed just yet, but stay tuned on social media. Uh, and Zarek, who is also super fun with that alternate expression, and like you said with the monsters, I just love that we went super retro with the colors, yeah. and I don't know. We didn't know if it was going to work because of how detailed they were, and then we painted them, we're like, oh yeah, it's, no, it's, great. it's great. I mean, <laughs> who doesn't want an army build one of those? So yeah, super, super excited. Uh, and then below that, you've got uh, Predator 2. <clears throat> we started the ultimate series for the Lost Tribe for its 30th anniversary last year, and we've continued that out. So here you've got uh, your ultimate shaman, which I believe should be shipping very shortly. Your boar what, that's up for pre-order, your elder that's up for pre-order, and then the snake that just went up for pre-order. This is the first time you're seeing the final image of snake. Uh, we went back, we, we tweaked some things, improved some things. So this is the updated version, uh, first time seeing here. These four do round out the Lost Tribe, so we finally finished the Lost Tribe, and now we can move on to other predators. So as you see below that, we've got um, <clears throat> Stoneheart from the Concrete Jungle game. That's a deluxe. It's almost twice the size of our standard figure. He's got LED lights, lights up on his back. Uh, he's got you know different jowls that are almost like our faceplate technology. So you can swip, swatch those out. Uh, super fun. The, the thing is massive, massive, massive. Um, 
And then that's it for Predator. We're not going to do Predator anymore. Yeah, no, that's it, right? Oh, no, yeah. There wasn't like a big hit movie on Hulu or anything. No, we didn't see anything when we were at, at NECA HQ no, at all. No, no. Uh, we, we don't want to prey on your instincts. <laughs> Funds for days. Yeah, no, Prey was a huge hit, and it was an instant favorite in the studio. We all watched it as a group. Uh, I've watched it now 20 times. I don't know why. Why would I need to watch it that much? Maybe we're designing a figure or something. Um, but that movie was really cool, not only to bring back Predator in such kind of a badass way and, and really show off what the Predator aliens can do. Uh, and, you know, you've got the classic gadgets, you've got new gadgets, you've got a new look for the Predator. It takes place 300 years ago uh, in America, and it was an opportunity to also show off a different era of Predator and a different era of humanity. And uh, the representation for indigenous people was phenomenal. And um, I don't know, maybe Indigenous People's Day is, is coming up soon, and it would be fun to kind of tie that in somehow. I don't know. We'll see. Just Stay tuned. So, Blaine, thank you so much for giving us a tour of the booth here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's, nothing, there's nothing that I'm forgetting that's behind me that's really big that you may have worked on the hair for. Life-size, maybe? Yeah, definitely not Definitely not these. Definitely not the life-size Chucky and, and Tiff, right? Yeah, so uh, Tiffany and Chucky from Bride of Chucky, I personally want to thank the fans for being so patient while we get these out. Uh, these were announced at 2019, our last San Diego Comic-Con, before the world shut down. Uh, you know, things were shut down for almost a year. We had to put a pause on these. And then uh, once we got them up and running, we almost had to kind of start from the beginning. There was a downside to that, but we also found an upside where we were able to go back and, and reintroduce ourselves to it and tweak it. As you mentioned, uh, they had a retired hairdresser on staff, so I was able to go in, do uh, hair and makeup, uh, you know, we had uh, someone come in, uh, Randy's wife actually, who is a wonderful, wonderful tailor and seamstress, go in and, and kind of fine tune the details and the distress on uh, Chucky. You can't see Tiff's legs, but she's got full fishnet on articulated legs. She's got, uh, you know, the, the Doc Martin boots with the, I don't know if they're actually Doc Martin, sorry, I didn't say that. They're, they're non licensed boots uh, with real Martin. chains. Yeah, there you go. Um, so it was really great that we did have the time to go back. These are high price point, right? And people had them on pre-order. It was really great to go back and make sure that these look absolutely perfect. And uh, they are finished now, so they should be shipping very, very soon. So if you did not get your pre-order, most are sold out. You might be able to find them at a few sites. Uh, if you did not get your pre-order in, this is your last chance because they're going to be shipping soon. Do it. Get your pre-order in. I mean, who doesn't want to bring home these bundle of joys? I'm gonna. I, I mean, they're. I'm getting a bassinet for them. They're staying with me. Permanent, permanent position on the couch. <laughs> yeah, it's on. And they are articulated, so you can. Uh, they're on a foam body, so you can articulate them. Uh, they do come with one gripping hand for you to hold. Not anything that could kill someone. Uh, so they do not have accessories because we don't want to promote that. Uh, but they can hold. Whatever you want, and then they're... Uh, the remote control for the TV. Yes, exactly. That's actually a wonderful idea. Uh, and then they can also hold each other's hands, so till death do they part. Well, Blaine, thank you so much for taking the time to take us through the NECA booth. As always, awesome. If you are in uh, New York City at New York Comic Con, make sure you come by, stop by, say hello, um, buy a set of the Mutagen Turtles before they all sell out, because it's the best thing that's ever been made ever, period. Awesome. Love it. Bye, guys. <laughs>